uh, happy Sunday. <laughs> oh boy, I hope uh, today's a better trip than the last one. And well, my day yesterday, we'll talk about it on the way. <laughs> it wasn't good. So anyway, we've got a um, the Freightliner power liner here from Rush Hour 109 and a uh, SCS triple. And we've got the Mulligan's mud flaps working on this triple. So that's pretty cool. So I've added them to the... Uh, Oh, do we? Oh, that's the truck. Yeah, at the front. Um, I've got them added to the mod with the triple low boy, so that's cool. So I'll keep testing and adding to it as we go. But anyway, I'll show you the map where we are and what we're going to do. We're up in Port Angeles, and we're going to head on down to Newport, but we're going to reroute. And it says it's 331 that way, 303 this way. And I did the job on Truckee, so I just put normal urgency, so we should be good. But I want to take this in the opposite direction, maybe get a view out over this, because we were kind of pointing the wrong way to get a look out onto the uh, ocean. And we should get a little more of it down here. So we're really looking forward to this. This is going to be fun. So let's uh, hop in and get her going. Now, the first thing we got to do is get ourselves turned around after we're ready to go here uh lights and uh yeah so we should be able to just do a u-turn right here i hope what's our weight Fifty-four thousand. for a bit it's a lot of dynamite we're taking dynamite down to plaster and sense try not to jackknife those trailers too sharply see what it looks like from out here yeah, we're getting them pretty tight, but they're not going to get damaged at that, uh, it's kind of at the limit, what you want to do. So we got a uh, 3406B going here in the Freightliner, which is appropriate for the era. That's a cool truck. This should be a nice little combo down this windy road. So this skin, I just kind of knocked it together this morning, but it actually came out pretty good. So I don't think, you know, I've got to move the and resize the stickers. I just dragged them off another model and they're all wrong. And uh, they got to be moved and resized. And I may put a different, um, may change some of them, change some of them up. I'll find some more vintage or age-appropriate ones. And this trailer skin's been up for a while. The latest, uh, the uh, After Mulligan's SCS yards, trailer turn left. skin. Turn See, left. it works on all trailers. So I've got... Um, Like I say 346B. I I didn't hear anything back on anything new on sound, so not 100% sure how that's going with for everybody. Yards, yeah, and here we are going left again. Turn awesome. Left. So I've never never driven out this way before. We came in the last time we we're up here. First time we came up this way. nobody's going to spawn into us. That was weird the other day. I think Zeke uh, commented that it happened to him. Uh, the vehicle spawned right in front of him. <laughs> in, a, in, a, you know, in a little town going at in-town speed. So I don't have a very, you know, uh, overly powerful engine here, so uh, I don't remember too many hills, but maybe I'm wrong. Drive along the coast here. Looking forward to getting a view of this ocean. And uh, the pivot cam oh, on the roof doesn't work on this truck. 
kind of drag. So, let's see. Get around a corner here. I did... I did uh, enable the roof cam. Let's see if that's working. Oh, yeah. It works, but it's weird. You don't see any of the truck. That's scary. It's only 35 mile an hour along here. I think you're better off with this view if you want to. We can kind of fake it till we make it. Oops, I'm wobbling all over the road. I think that's kind of twitchy steering. Yeah, I'll have to uh, look into the, I'll go on uh, Rush Hour 109's uh, Facebook page, see what gives with the uh, pivot cam, if anybody knows, or maybe one of you know, you can comment. So it's uh, Saturday after lunch, and uh, Barb's coming home today from Winnipeg after being there for a month, visiting her mom, and uh, after this, well, this is not I gotta do a little bit of, I gotta throw on my uh, domestic uh, charwoman's clothes and get after this house. It's not terrible, what you mean. but, oh, we're pulling in for the scale. Okay, well, I have no idea what this is gonna be. 54, 6C, uh, 87,000 pounds. Let's go. With, oh boy, we gotta get slowed down here. Easy. Too busy doing math in my head to uh, bother controlling the vehicle. Not good. Well, let's see what we got. Oh, I might be light at 87, but let's see if that's what I said. I think that's what I said. Hundred and five, six ninety. Wow, I was way off. No soup for me. Kind of a gloomy day out here in the Pacific Northwest. There's a car coming there, but I think we're out. Oops, ahead of him. So these mud flaps have the uh, gray version that I showed you the other day modified slightly, but I got to do it from scratch. I just wrote, you know, I just didn't have time uh, to do anything about it. I spent a few hours working on the skin this morning and then whipped together those mud flaps. So the, uh, and I want to get a look at them in the light here. So the sun seems to be coming out now, so we'll be able to get a look at them and see how the, uh, that opaque layer is treating them and looking right. There we go. There's our ocean view. Nice. Oh, you can just smell it. I know going to our, our west coast here in Canada and going up Vancouver Island and Port Hardy and places like that. Man, it's awesome. Don't know if I can live there, but I sure like visiting it. It's awful wet, damp. I've really become accustomed to the dry air and air that we have here in Calgary. It's not very humid. It's good if you got some arthritis. I've got uh, arthritis in my big toe joints, but I don't notice it. It looks real bad in an x-ray. Holy, oh, like, I mean, it's, oh, it's kind of funny. I was in, well, I don't know if it's funny or not, but I never knew. I had it. I just thought, well, every now and then my big toe joints are stiff. And um, I didn't think anything done. This is like years ago. Oh, man, it's got to be 15, 20 years ago. I'd strained, I sprained my ankle pretty bad. 
and uh, I didn't know if there was like a little, you know, fracture in there. And normally I'd just sit it out, but it wasn't getting any better after a few days. So I went and got an x-ray, and <laughs> yeah, I was just there having a look at my ankle and stuff. And I'm, uh, you know how they have those little rooms and stuff, you go get in your little nighty and whatever, and they, I'm back changing to go home. And I hear my name getting called. And uh, I stick my head out, what's up? And uh, they said, you gotta come back. We wanna take some more images of your, your feet. And so I go back in and they uh, took some images and stuff, whatever they did. I forget what test they did. And uh, showed me the pictures. It said, how do you even walk? And I said, well, I don't know, like, just go. <laughs> it was pretty funny. So it doesn't it doesn't hinder me at all. So, but maybe it's the dry climate here. But I mean, I've been to like Cuba, and Mexico, and down east, and west coast. And I don't know. I don't think I have a problem. Anyway, sidetracked. Oh, it's the bridge again. How oh, is this that? This isn't the bridge we were at the other day, is it? What's, where's the boat? Oh, down there. Oh, well, maybe it is the one we were at the other day. Yeah, yeah, well, of course it is. We're going in the opposite route. Oh, I was thinking of that one that lifted straight up with the big concrete uh, ballast. Counterweights. Hey, there's... There's mulligans. Look at that. Oh man, that's a screenshot. How do we do it? Well, we'll see if we uh, can get a better one. All right, let's go. We're both in Kenworth. No, we're not in Kenworth. So I thought I was in the K100E for a sec. Drawbridge. Got the measure of that boy. Yeah, I don't have uh, it's a Z mod uh, 3406, but it's uh oh, right the light. Should hit the binders. He's gonna oh here, maybe he'll catch up to us. Stop here. Keep left. After Keep left. 50 oh. yards, turn left. Get over here now. Yeah, how far up is this guy gonna come? He's gonna stop there, okay. Here, but oh, I guess that's what we do. Astoria, this away. Yeah, I guess right over there is probably where we we went down, and turned right down there. Let's see the other Mulligan's truck is coming along. That 
the sand or not? No, I don't think so. Oh, no, this is the way out. We're going to go fly the uh, sawmill. Yeah, it looks like it. This looks fun. It's nice you get the warning before this thing comes down like a guillotine. Like it used to. I don't know if you guys remember that. We're in mortal danger from that thing. I've been wiped out a few times by it. That's much more civilized. Let's see if we can see that other... There he is. Is he coming our way? Looks like he's... Oh, he would be turning right. Oh, here he comes. Ah, uh, nope, there he goes. Yeah, see how you can't put the kick on the trailer on the paint job? It's just straight because they put the same paint job on each side of the trailer. That may change someday, but, um... Wow, it took forever for this train to get here. Put the trailer brake on and just sit here for a sec. Um, the, um, yeah, I'll have to do that tutorial. I, oh boy. So what I'll do, I'm going to get uh, this mud flap thing done because I think once I get rolling on it. Okay, oh, that's a long train. Just a sec, let me count. One, two, three. 15 cars. Wow. It's long for an ATS train. Anyway, what was happening with the mud flaps was causing, causing me so much uh, grief and time and revisiting the, the mod in uh, Mod Studio 2 and checking and rechecking, pulling um, templates out and rearranging them, changing the order. Doesn't seem to have been required because what I noticed this time around with this trailer is I had an existing trailer triple and so I went to put the mud flaps on it and I started at the back and everything was going great till I got to the front oh I got that break on till I got the front of the uh, uh, the front trailer the rear of the front trailer and no mud flap showed up no icon in the uh, parts list there so I'm thinking, oh boy, here we go again, and wasted a bunch of time poking around. And then I had the brilliant idea that, uh, well, let's just try a new, we'll just try purchasing a trailer. So I go to purchase a trailer, and sure enough, they all show up. And it's the same thing with the uh, triple, the triple uh, low boy. It seems if you have an existing trailer, it doesn't want to throw the front mud flap on. And if you, buy a new one no worries so now what I got to do is uh, I want to try um, taking one of these trailers and then if you guys know you can go in to buy a trailer and you can go into uh, my fleet configurations and uh, that was a Toby reset that <laughs> big merge uh, so you go into my fleet configurations and um, all of you, you know, your trailers will show up there and you can pick one. Like say you had a uh, turnpike double in there. You select it and then you hit customize and build it out the way you want your new trailer to be. And it'll come out. You'll have the paint job on it. You'll have uh, as many wheels as that, uh, well, not quite, but it'll have a bunch of the existing wheels on it and uh, that you're using so you don't have to go and build all that so it's kind of a cool deal but anyway I gotta test that see if I go in build with the existing configuration does the mud flaps all come over to and or uh, can I take a trailer that's existing that has mud flaps working and change the mud flap to say old school I kind of like the Jake in this, uh, this is, 
the most tolerable, Jake, if you got to go down a really long downhill. But I just can't get it turned off. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's off now. I didn't do that secondary uh, button, my emergency backup. got to do that. So, yesterday, yesterday's video, uh, I didn't discuss it while I was making it because I was just trying to get through it and keep my overall poop in the group because uh, it was brutal. My plan was get everything done by 9 30, 10 o'clock in the evening and um, go relax upstairs and watch a movie that I'd like to see that I know Barb wouldn't want to watch because she likes a different kind of stuff that for the most part that we do have things in common obviously but uh, I thought well last night with the TV to myself and I get up there well it didn't work out what happened was I hopped in the profile we were in what truck was that the uh Oh, Outlaw W900. And a bunch of the settings were out of date for what I've been using lately. And I should have just went, stopped, gone out, copied the control set and everything from the last profile I used into the, that one. Instead, I started messing around with things. I paused here and there in the video. Well, I didn't hit restart properly. And so at the end of the day, I had about a 13-minute video. So, I thought, oh boy, here we go. So, and the PC was acting a little sluggish for some reason. And I uh, rebooted the PC. And it was getting late by now, so now it's, oh, I don't know, 10, 30 or something. And I... Uh, that's cool. Yeah, I um, reset the PC and everything. I forgot to restart OBS Studio. So I had no recording. After going through the whole trip again, another, it was about a 40 minute trip. It was going to be the Sunday video. You know. So, that was a bummer. So I had to do a third video. And then I do the third video. And for some reason, I don't know why, it was about 45 minutes, I think, actually. And the rendering was taking forever. And normally a 45 minute video is rendered in about half an hour. It took about an hour. So now we're getting up, it's after midnight. And, uh,. Oh, sorry. Oh, what happened there? Oh, I can't remember. Sorry, I, I'm getting that out of sequence. But what happened is I ended up getting to bed about 1.30, 1.45 in the morning after I finally got a video up. It's unbelievable. It's a real bad day. Here comes a place to take a photo. Now, I did check. I have the uh, controls all set up for it. I want to take it before we get under the bridge. Oh, there we are. So, uh, like I was saying, um, yeah, it didn't go well yesterday at all with that. And um, that was a real bummer. So, pretty darn frustrating. And I, on top of that, with all my tiredness and frustration, I ended up with an hour-long section just blank at the end of the video. So, or however long it was. But So anybody looking at the video go, wow, an hour-long video. I don't have time to watch that, so that may affect viewership of the video, unfortunately. But I'm just so past... <laughs> caring to do anything about it. I'm just gonna let it ride. Turn right. Imagine I could go. Oh, they're probably coming now. Got a 
love these triples. Astoria Port. I believe I've been down there a few times. It's been a while. Never in a video. The traffic circle coming up. Cross the rotary. First exit. Car out. We'll hit the guardrail. We're okay. Another bridge. I <laughs> hope it's not the same one. <laughs> yeah, it's not. So what I've been doing getting back to the recording levels and volume and stuff is uh, this is one with the counterweights. Maybe this is buy this one on the way up there? Possibly. Anyway, uh, I've been turning my headset volume control down a little bit so that I have the game volumes up to where I would normally have them uh, for what I'm hearing, but it's actually louder because if I put my little rotator knobby thing volume control on my headset to the middle position of the D10. Uh, it's really loud for me right now. So, theoretically I'm recording and I turned my mic volume up. And, you know, you'll have to uh, comment. Is uh, we back on track? Or you have to mess with your volume still? Nice truck. Very nice truck, this one. Now we're inside again. We can see the Jake control on the dash. Look at that one. I don't need it. On. Oh. On. Off. Oh. 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 There it goes. <laughs> okay, so it's not dead reliable yet. No reason it would be. Oh, there is mulligans. Oh, uh, this is cool. Uh, so this time, what I did for the parking uh, pick up and drop off because the triple is this. I selected E. Oh yeah, I've got this job in uh, trucking. Just to make sure we can get this route. I gotta see what those mud flaps look like in the daylight. Oops. Yeah, they don't look too bright. Not super crazy about the white. I, I might be do them the white around the letters. I think I could do better mud flaps than that. The mulligans. The thing is, you know, you do it once, I mean, you put it out once, so sometimes better just to take the extra time to make sure you're real happy with it before you go put it out there. So I got a lot of mud flaps to do, holy, think about it. So we've got the only one that's really finished, well, the, um, I, und I took the, uh, uh, who was it now? Flatbed Brothers mud flap out of the mod because just in case it was creating the problems with the flat deck or the low boy, and I don't think that was a problem. I should just try it on a new trailer. I would be that far further ahead, but I have all the drawings so I can put them back into the mod <laughs> quite quickly. So we've got. Flatbed Brothers, we've got Mulligans, and we've got Healthy Heavy Haul for machinery and equipment. So we need Healthy Heavy Haul. We need, uh, probably going to want to do the uh, Hell Creek Ranch for the uh, cattle hauler. And we're going to want uh, Old School. 
I gotta do a trailer skid for Big Sky Transport or trucking. That has to happen. So it would be that one. I think I gotta redo this Mulligan's one. We'll have uh, Black Swan, Montana Express. Uh, boy, there's more. But uh, it's quite a few. Mud flaps to do. Probably be getting a whole bunch. And then uh, do them for uh, some trucks too. Anything that I have a skin for in the truck. So I don't have a whole lot of SES skins. W900 has a few. The 389 has quite a few actually, I think. So they'll all have to happen. I got the International 9900. I got at least a Black Swan skin for that. And a Big Sky for sure. I can make Cinep Toro Mountain Brew uh, mud flaps for the, that trailer. But like, well, you know, like I say, once you got the process down, we're comfortable with what we're doing, it'll go pretty well. of the coast. Um, I've done the other uh, stretch down to Santa Maria a few times. I'm sure we got one or two videos of that stretch of highway, which is also real fun. But uh, boy, if they've got that reworked in New California, and did oh, no, there's my one. I want I wonder if we're going to get that in 148. Wow. So Oklahoma comes out and then they go to 148. Or are we going to go to 148 before Oklahoma? Jeez, I wonder how that works. What am I slowing down? Oh, I guess. Yeah, I, uh, I kind of thought it was going to change. Newport. Aha. Well, we must be getting close to look at the map. We still got a little distance to go. Turn it off and zoom around into their construction site. All right. See what that brings. But uh, I, I like this truck. It's really. It's, a good looking rig. I think this is the. I don't know what chassis I got in here. It doesn't look like a long one, but it's it suits the uh, purpose with the uh, triples quite well. The paint job lines up fairly good with it. It's not bad. Of those guys up there to 
Well, let's see. Oh darn, I hit the throttle too soon. mad is he? Oh, he's turning in after us. He's coming after me. Uh-oh. Huh. That wasn't the prettiest maneuver. If I hadn't uh, stamped the throttle before I got it into the next gear, I would have had a enough of a jump on him, but I messed that shift up. But my bad. I wouldn't have had all the drama. It's funny how just a, something like that, just a few seconds, makes such a difference. If the other vehicle's gaining momentum, that little bit that he gained, that you didn't, it's a huge difference. Wow, can't say ever. Oh yeah, I've been up here before. Or have I? Right. Yeah, I've been right. before. Uh oh, grind him. Can't find him, grind him. Somebody was saying I should put uh, chapters in, especially the tutorial video. That's a good idea. I just got to figure out how to do it. I don't know how that goes or what's involved in editing it. I guess I could find out. I don't think I've ever been to this site before. It's funny how much there is in this game that I just haven't explored yet. That's weird. This has been out forever. Since I've had the game initially uh, years ago. Now we should just get an easy parking straight ahead here with this triple, I hope. Oh, where should I place it? Yeah. Yeah. That's all we're going to be doing with this thing. Beautiful drive. That was really fun. And once again, I'm low on fuel. It's not giving me the warning yet, but uh, I got smart enough with that. The brakes are all on, everything's good, lights are off. 303. Good old Lee Enfield 303. Wow, look at the money I paid for the dynamite. Nice. Uh, that's epic. Yeah, good looking little rig. And, uh, yeah. I have to do more paint jobs for it. It's cool. I have to check and see which chassis this is. If that's short or long. I have no idea. I don't know the mod well enough. Interesting. What if that grill is supposed to be like that under there? If that should just be that lower grill just cut off in the mod and the holes there in the uh, bumper. Not sure, because it doesn't fit very well. Oh, just check the lights here. Turn the key on. And, uh, oh yeah, it's high beams in the bumper. 
Cool. Oh, oh I started it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for following along. And uh, as always, appreciate you. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, carry on and uh, try and continue to get better at this. Because well, have I gotten any better? That's a question. <laughs> I need to. Uh, I need to sharpen up my game and get the consistency back that I uh, once had. And uh, we'll strive to do that. So as always, appreciate you and take care. Catch you on the next one. And. Bye for now.